we can use list slicing to create a sublist. So we're looking at the same bit of code that we had before. All we have to do is take that list slice that we're seeing here on line four, and we can just assign it to another variable like that. And if I go ahead and print this, then we'll see, well, we'll see exactly what we're seeing. And we can also look at a specific uh, index of this. So let's look at index three. And sure enough, 0, 1, 2, 3, 19 is our third index. I'm going to go ahead and change this slice a little bit. I'm going to go from, let's say, from negative 5 to the end. And let's take a look at that. And sure enough, we're starting at 16, right, which is our negative 5 index from the end. And we create this sublist. And the third element here, or sorry, the fourth element, or the third index, 0, 1, 2, 3, holds the value 25. This can come in handy quite a bit, and it gives you a certain flexibility with lists. One thing that you might want to consider is what happens when you go from the zeroth index to the end. Well, that just simply copies the list 